Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the Rhea Melodies plugin effects chain in Reaper. Now, the purpose of this video is based on many new third party plugins, which are fairly expensive, being created and sold that do little more than we could already do in Reaper and for free. Using buzzwords like cheat code really driving me crazy as we're trying to make music that we find interesting, not cheat our way through this. So, in this video, we're going to create our own Rhea Melody or Re Melody type plugin effects chain. So, I have a project in front of me here. And already created a simple melody using a piano VST instrument. Let's hear it. So, the first thing we're going to add is a pitch plugin. Go to the track effects on that track and let's search pitch. And then we'll choose Rhea Pitch as the first plugin in our chain. I usually like to mess around shifting the melody by semitones. Right here. Until I like how it sounds. So that's pretty good at about four. But if I'm going to add any other instruments to it, I should make it exact. Minus four. Then I like to shift it based on the formant, which adjusts the tone based on the pitch shifting. Kind of liking it right there before. And after. Now let's add some distortion. Let's search distort. Now, most of the plugins we're going to use are JS plugins right here. And there's so many JS plugins to choose from that beyond the ones we use in this video, you should search for even more. Let's choose distortion. And that's added after the pitch. And we can adjust that for stereo and how much distortion we want. Just a bit. And next we'll add some EQ. Let's type in tilt. And right over here, we have a tilt equalizer which tilts the frequency from the lowest point to the highest point in two different directions. Let's keep it stereo. Let's center the frequency at about 1.4 kilohertz and adjust it to be higher or lower as far as tilting right here. So if we tilt it this way, we'll get more low end and less high. And this way, we'll be more high and less low. Then we can adjust the output gain right here. It just cuts through more. Then next, we'll add a chorus. Let's choose the Azifier chorus to make the sound wider. We can adjust the number of voices. The spread, the pitch spread, let's bring this up a bit, and let's adjust the dry mix to be a bit louder.
It just widens the sound based on pitch or a chorus effect. Next, we'll add a glitch generator. Let's choose this. Now, I don't use this one each time, but I could turn it on and off for different moments in the song as it adjusts the pitch modulation, some reverse, fade out, and glitching. Like I said, I'll turn it off and on. Just to vary it up a bit. But we could also add just a reverse effect. Let's turn this off. And let's add a delay. And let's choose the delay with reverseness. Notice how it sounds backwards. Let's adjust the dry mix to be louder. And just like with the glitch generator, I like to turn this on and off on different moments. Although you can leave it on if you prefer. Then we'll add a tremolo. And we could adjust the stereo separation right here. Before, just adds a bit of movement with the volume modulating. Next, we'll add a filter, and I'm going to choose down here the sweeping resonant low pass filter. And we can adjust our frequencies right here. Just the sweepingness right here. And how peaky the resonance is right here. Just like with the other ones, we could turn this on and off at different points in the song. Let's leave it on for now. And next, we'll add a delay. And I'm going to choose down here a tempo ping pong, which is going to bounce back and forth from left to right with our speakers. Adjust the width. Make it a bit lower. Now we have a ping pong delay that goes back and forth to the tempo of the song. And then finally, we'll add a reverb. Let's choose Reverbate, adjust the dry and the wet, change the size of the room, make it big, adjust the filter for the reverb, make the low pass about 4.5 kilohertz and the high pass about 300 hertz, which will make the reverb very filtered. Just the volume of it right here.
As you can tell, it's a very different sound. Before. So what more interesting, with all the modulation plugins, we added. And we did it by creating an effects chain, which is all the effects right here added together. Which is all those third party plugins that are pretty expensive are doing. And it's all in Reaper for free. You just have to create them first and then save it as an effects chain. What I tend to do is turn these all off. So it's starting with nothing and then save this as an effects chain. Just right click, go to effects chains, save all effects as chain, and then give this a name. Save it. Now we can clear all these effects. Now, if we want to add it to any melody or any source we want, right click over here, go to effects chains, and then choose it. And it opens up ready to go. Just add the ones we want. And tweak each one to taste. And just like that, we can recreate any variable of our melody we want, which is really fitting for this style of music. So that's pretty much it. That's how to create a Rhea Melodies plugin effects chain in Reaper. Hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. I never took that literally. I never. No. <laughs>